subscribing and leaving comments. Sasquatch, Jedi, and most commonly Bigfoot. However, the creature most people call a fantasy, Robert Morgan says is real, and he's tracking him here in Ohio. Morgan says he's seen Bigfoot three times. He's written a book about the creature who's never been captured. It's a uh, remnant prehistoric man that has continued to exist without our permission. Morgan says Bigfoot is at least eight feet tall. He's nomadic, he walks on two legs, and he does not travel along. Morgan's now concentrating on sightings here in northeastern Ohio and a triangle from near Canton to West Virginia. Morgan says people's sightings, especially prevalent in our area, are the best evidence Bigfoot is out there. He weeds out the fakes and then does his own investigation. I can go into an area even without a sighting and I can tell you fairly closely whether or not Bigfoot has inhabited that area recently. They do leave certain things behind. But Robert would not tell us what Bigfoot leaves behind, so he and his investigators took us to this undisclosed Stark County location where a recent sighting took place. If I was Bigfoot, I guess I'd want to be in this type of terrain then, huh? Yeah, yeah, here you can see quite a ways around you in order to escape. You. However, it seems today Bigfoot has left this area for the hunting season. Morgan says he's been called a wacko and it doesn't matter if people believe him. He says people are now afraid to report sightings because of ridicule. But he says he will soon reveal physical evidence that Bigfoot lives right here in Ohio. If I wanted to give me a gun, I can go out and collect you a specimen. I could do it. I won't do it. I think the killing in this world is, uh, is enough. Morgan says a hunter bagging Bigfoot is his biggest fear because he believes Bigfoot is part human. But he says we will all soon believe him when his work is done and the mystery of Bigfoot will be a mystery no more. In Ken, Ross Kirchis, News Channel 5. Left for the hunting season. Mm -hmm. yes. Morgan mm -hmm. says there have been as many as five solid sightings of Bigfoot in Ohio over just the past four months. If you would like to report a sighting or you want more information, call Daring Publishing. Daring Publishing in Canton, Ohio. The number there is 454-7519. Scary and scary, they are Bigfoot. And an expert says they're in our own backyard. That story coming up. And now, the moment you've been waiting for. Does Bigfoot really exist? And if so, where can he be found? News Center 8's Gary Stromberg says many people believe Bigfoot and friends are living right here in our area. The film Harry and the Hendersons helped bring the legend of Bigfoot into our lives. But of course, there are plenty of non-believers around. Bigfoot? Yeah. I think it's a fairy tale. And even if Bigfoot exists, he no doubt lives in the Himalayas or perhaps the Pacific Northwest. There probably wouldn't be none around here, though, you know. Way out in the woods or somewhere like that. It might be one or two. My idea of Ohio was the same as everyone else's. It's too populated, it's totally civilized. I was wrong. If Robert Morgan is a Bigfoot tracker. He claims to have spotted Bigfoot three times in the Northwest, and he now believes Bigfoot also lives in Northeast Ohio. I'm also surprised at how many people in Ohio have actually seen Bigfoot, and they were afraid to report it. And they were afraid to report it because, with all due respect to you, the media made fun of them. Morgan says big, hairy creatures standing eight or nine feet tall date back thousands of years and are a vital part of Indian lore. Morgan estimates there are as many as 2,500 Bigfoots across North America, as many as 50 right here in Ohio. The reason we don't see them very often? Well, they only come out at night. Everybody wants to shut the door and say, okay, now we know it all. I think we have more to learn. That's why Robert Morgan has written the Bigfoot Pocket Manual, a guide to stalking Bigfoot. 
not to kill him, but to learn more about him. They did not evolve as we evolved because they're more perfectly adapted to live in the wild. In the back of every Bigfoot pocket manual, there is an encounter report. If you spot a Bigfoot, Morgan hopes you will fill in the blanks and return the form to him. And I've had people coming literally out of the woodwork. I would estimate close to 50 reports. And uh, most that I have talked to, these people are not kooks. Gary Stromberg, New Center 8, Canton. Well, what do you think? Uh, nah. <laughs> nah? <laughs> I don't believe it. <laughs> That's our news at 6. The CBS Evening News is next. We'll all be back tonight at 11. Hope you will be too. Have a good night.